This is a value chain TV news update. I am S.A. Ufuma with the news. And on the news update, President Bola Tinubu has outlined his administration's plan to tackle the pressing challenges facing Nigeria, focusing on economic recovery, infrastructure development and security reform. The president made the declaration during his Independence Day speech, highlighting initiatives aimed at boosting local industries, improving the energy sector and addressing the country's persistent fuel subsidy issue. He reassured Nigerians that his government is committed to creating a sustainable future for all. Following this, Value Chain TV took to the streets to gauge the expectations of an everyday Nigerian. The report. If you am um, about 40 years old, all my siblings, they are not in Nigeria. Not that they don't like Nigeria or they don't love Nigeria, but because of the situation, condition of the country, you can see all, most of them are running away from this country. So I'm not proud. I'm happy to be in Nigeria, but I'm not proud to be in Nigeria. It's a leadership problem. Today, any office you go, you have to drop something before you achieve. If you go for employment, you must bribe one or two before you get the employment. It's supposed not to be so. So, but my prayer for my country, Nigeria, that they should God should help us so that we can get it right. I'm expecting a lot from Nigeria. I hope we we do better than we, we've been doing. It's what it's not impressive. I really hope and pray that the people that are the leaders realize that they are not doing well and they need to do better. Increasing minimum wage, security, you know. Prices of things are not funny anymore. Even transport, ordinary transport to go to your workplace is not funny anymore. So it can't be that hard to make things better. We see how other countries are doing. We need to try and emulate them. I think we still have a long way to go. Our country is currently backward. We are suffering based on feeding, transportation fare. The whole food thing is it's not amusing at all. So. I don't think there's anything to say about Nigeria. I don't really think they care about us, to be sincere. But if they want to, there are diverse ways they can help our lives by reducing the cost of food especially. I think we really need to eat so we can have strength to strive for tomorrow. And now on business news, Africa's richest man, Aliko Dangote, has disclosed that his business conglomerates have invested over $25 billion in the oil and gas, cement and sugar industries of the country in the last seven years. Aliko Dangote stated this while speaking on the sidelines of the recently concluded 79th United Nations General Assembly in the U.S. The business mogul said this investment was meant to signal confidence to others that it is possible to invest in Nigeria and by extension Africa. He added that while there are few challenges on the continent, there is nothing that cannot be solved. And now on economy, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arraigned former Taraba State Governor Darius Dixie Ishaku and the former Permanent Secretary of the Bureau of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Bello Yero, over an alleged 27 billion naira fraud. A correspondent, Chad Moses, has the details. EFCC disclosed on its official X account that Ishaku and Yero have been brought before the Federal Capital Territory High Court, Mitama Abuja, where they are facing a 15 count charge. The 15 count charge includes criminal breach of trust, conspiracy, and the conversion of public funds. One of the charges, according to the Commission, accuses the former governor and permanent secretary of diverting over 1.1 billion naira from the 2.5% contingency fund for the Bureau of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs between 2015 and 2019. The funds were allegedly misused for personal gains, violating Section 315 of the Penal Code Act. For Value Chain TV, Chad Moses reporting. We'll be going on a very quick break now. Do stay with us for more news updates.
Welcome back and now moving to gas, petroleum tanker drivers, branch of the Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Worker, NUPENG, has commended the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu for its renewed commitment to improving federal highways nationwide. Adawobi Ogwejo 4 has more details. In a communique signed by the National Chairman Augustine Egbon and National Secretary Oluchi Chinagoru, the union noted that the praise followed the recent approval of 13 road projects by the Federal Executive Council during a meeting presided over by President Tunubu. This commendation was part of the resolutions reached by the PTD Nupeng National Executive Committee NEC meeting held over the weekend in Port Harcourt River State. The union also praised the government's efforts to ensure the stable supply of petroleum products. The PTD Nupeng emphasized that the road rehabilitation would significantly enhance the safety of its members and ensure uninterrupted supply of petroleum products from depots to retail outlets. For Value Chain TV, Adabio Gwejo for reporting. And now an international scene, Elon Musk's internet service company, Starlink, has increased the monthly subscription for each service in Nigeria by 97%, from 38,000 Naira to 75,000. The firm revealed that for new users, the company also increased the Starlink Kids hardware by 34% from 440,000 to 590,000 Naira. While Starlink had reviewed the price of its hardware in Nigeria upwards and downwards several times, this is the second time it has increased subscriptions. The company, in a message to its customers in Nigeria, cited excessive inflation as a reason for the increment. Moving now to sport, the NBA legend Dikembe Mutumbu has died at the age of 58 following a battle with brain cancer. Mutumbu, who began treatment for a brain tumor in October 2022, was honored by NBA commissioner Adam Silva. A sport correspondent, Kabir Lawal, shares more details. The former eight-time All-Star, known for his shooting blocking prowess, retained in year 2009 after an 18-year career spanning the Denver Nuggets, Atlanta Hawks, Philadelphia 76ers, New Jersey Nets, New York Knicks, and the Houston Rockets. Standing at 7 feet 2 inches, 2.18 meters, the Congolese native was discovered at Jojo Town University before being selected fourth overall in the 1991 NBA draft by the Nuggets. Mutombo's dominant defense and signature finger wagon celebration make him a fan favorite across the league. For Value Chain TV, Kabir Lowell reporting. And that's it on the Value Chain TV news update. I am S.A. Ufoma. Do have well to follow us on our social media platforms and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more news updates. Bye for now.